I have always been fascinated with the story of the Transfiguration. And to be perfectly honest with you, I have even felt a bit envious with Peter, James, and John. In a literal sense, we cannot do what they did. But in some sense, we need that kind of mountaintop experience. We all need to go to the mountain with Jesus from time to time and catch a vision of something better. On the second Sunday of Lent, we need to be reminded of those values which the world tries to make us forget. Day after day, we live and move and have our being in the midst of a secular world, a world that goes directly contrary to our beliefs and values. The tendency is to put first things last and last things first. We need to be reminded of the things that Christ stands for and the world makes us forget. We also need that kind of experience to enable us to regain our sense of direction. Who among us does not need that from time to time? How easy it is to get off track. Let's face it, we all get down at times. And there are those days that we need to focus and get set right again with Jesus. We also need that transfiguring experience to change the wrongness in our lives. In the day-to-day -day events of life, it is dangerously easy to get by with one's conscience. We can spend all of our time with the world and start to think pretty well of ourselves. In other words, we can learn to justify just about anything. We need to take that time to slip away with Jesus to the mountaintop, to let him show us what we are and help us become the best person that he wants us to become. Most especially, we need this experience in order to rededicate life and release its power. Every now and then, we need to take stock of our life and our present situation and see where we have been and where we are going. The Lord can give us the power to rededicate our life to His. As we stand at the foot of the cross, we can find a way to close out the world and focus our minds for a little while on the radiant glory of Christ.